This HAN Network video is brought to you by Stratford Antique Center. Live at the Stratford Antique Center, I'm Kate Chaplinski here with Rob Adams. We've been seeing some very interesting pieces today. Been talking to a lot of the sellers here. Rob, who do we have up next? We have Barbara March with us, Kate. She has brought out a couple of nice pieces, and she's going to tell us exactly what her business is. What's the name of your business, Barbara? My business is the Bad Cat uh, Vintage and Modern, <laughs> uh, named after a very bad cat. <laughs> <laughs> tell us about that cat. I, n I must know more. <laughs> He was a very bad cat, <laughs> and uh, he always was uh, knocking over the collectibles, so this is uh, in his honor. <laughs> what got you into this? You have a, an interesting past that certainly Kate and I were both uh, fascinated by. Yeah, I started as an art student and uh, transitioned into filmmaking. Uh, spent many years doing that, and as I got a little older, I had always collected all the way along. Anywhere I was on a shoot, I would hit the nearest flea market or the nearest antique store and bring a few things back. So I developed that and as I got out of production I ended up doing this full time. That's great. And now tell us a little bit about what you brought with you. So today I thought it would be fun to show a uh, fall tailgating setup. So I have the classic 1950s Scotch cooler. Also, a really beautiful uh, stadium blanket. This was really common back, this is probably late 50s, early 60s. The nice thing about that, instead of it being European, this is made in America in Minnesota. So that makes it a really nice piece. So these are great items for fall. Also could be a terrific housewarming gift if you uh, know somebody is into tailgating. And for sure, for you sports fans, and I'm just thinking next Friday we have our first football broadcast. I'm just saying, <laughs> parking it. lot of Yorktown High School in New York, we'll spot it next week. That's where our first game will be, but this is a great piece. It's really interesting. Thank you. I like to collect uh, fun pieces that go with the theme. I also sell a lot of mid-century madman-style furniture, mm. which unfortunately is too heavy to bring out. But uh, that's my real love, and uh, I have a lot of it uh, both on my Facebook page, which is... Uh, Bad Cat Trading Company, and also you can email me at badcatco at optonline.net. Love it. Wow. All right. Bad Cat. Keep an eye out for that Bad Cat. Barbara, <laughs> thank you so much. This is Thanks, great stuff. Guys. Yes, it's our pleasure. As we join you here at the Stratford Antique Center. By the way, they're open until 5, 7 days a week, 10 to 5 to be exact, right off exit 31 of I-95. Really easy to find. The building right alongside oh, yeah. 95. It's a landmark. So it really is. One last thing for you. Where are you located in there? I don't want to leave that out. I'm in booth uh, C3. Uh, these guys got me started in the brick and mortar business. I love them. And no matter where I go, I'll always be a Stratford Antique dealer. Woohoo! There you go. There you have it. All right. Kate, we'll take a break. Yes. Great stuff here. Thank you to Barbara as we roll on from Stratford Antique Center. Our road show continues right here on the HAN Network after this.